Okay, got the kiln pretty well loaded. Uh, got some absolutely beautiful stone in there. Some stuff that's got some purples in it. Uh, different swirlies and such. Uh, now this is creek rock, so I'm going to dry it for a good long while. And when I load the kiln, I want to make sure I get a pretty full load. If I don't, it doesn't seem to really heat evenly or maintain the heat like I want it to. So uh, I've got about two and a half buckets of rock in here. It's it's probably over 200 pounds of spalls and preforms in here. Now one thing I like to do, if you can see down in here, I got some flakes, some bigger flakes around the edge. I tend to put those uh, around there on purpose just to kind of shield my uh, my rock from the heat and elements and also to protect my heat and elements in case I have an avalanche inside the kiln. Keeps it from tearing up my bricks so bad. I uh, probably need to build some kind of a basket in here, but haven't done that. You see here I got some damage, but it, it still works. Uh, now, like I said, this is Creek Rock, so I'm probably going to bring it up, oh, to about 120 or so and let that eat for, ah, I don't know, six, eight hours before I start ramping it up to 200 for its final dry. Uh, and then, I don't know how long I'll dry it yet, i got to think about it. Uh, anyhow, I'll go that far. All right.